secret Malibu car show. There's lots of really interesting cars today. Check that out. And even Michael is here with his uh, incredible C-Type Jaguar right there. what to choose there's way too many cars I don't know uh, if I had you guys with me which one would you choose uh, we got some great classics uh, you guys may, may recognize that that's Michael's car he brings that to wheels and wheels from time to time actually pretty much every time Uh, you're on because of that hack. I know. I know. I lost the bet, so I had to I, wear it today. So that's what happened. So what's, uh, your, what's your I excuse? don't even know uh, how to approach that. Um, probably should. Yeah. Probably should. Uh, yeah. There's no, video you gotta, you gotta somewhere. Tell. There's video somewhere. I can't. Okay. I can't do it. What, what, is, what stands out for you today? Oh, I mean, other than... You know than, it was full at like 5.45 this morning. I know. How, what time did you get here to get your Honda parked there? <laughs> I mean, come on. Look at all the space I got. I got extra space. Just and in case, um, you know. it's worth so much. that color is you, though. It is. It is. It's kind Very of, it's rarely do you bring a car that says, yeah, yeah. How'd you know that was mine? Uh, the color. Oh, oh yeah, 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 just, yeah, 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 right, yeah, yeah. Only cool. you would drive that. Yeah, you yeah. got to give me that hat later, dude. I know. It's very Christmassy. <laughs> We're a little late, but it works. And uh, you don't—you never miss the show. No, you never—you never miss my show. I come out every uh, month. I think you've missed one, maybe. <laughs> uh, Sandy always has incredible cars because uh, he's a huge car guy, despite his not so huge stature. <laughs> but you have a uh, an Alvis today, which is not 
a car that pretty much anyone has seen for a long time. That's good. And not only that, it's like one, it's almost it's a one-off. It's a one-off. Yes. Okay. Tell me a little bit about this. Uh, the car was built in 1952, about from Alvis and uh, the British uh, manufacturer. Mm -hmm. They built 31 of this body style, but of the 31. 30 of them were two-seater, right-hand drive. Okay. There was one prototype for the American market, a left-hand drive, four-seater, and they decided not to produce it. It was too expensive, and this is that car. English company, uh, but they didn't just build cars. They built uh, race cars, they built cars for consumers, they built armored vehicles for the military, mm -hmm. and they built uh, airplane motors. Uh, does this car have an airplane motor in it? Uh, could be. <laughs> what is the motor? It's a six-cylinder, uh, six three-liter uh, Alphas motor. Wow. Yeah, really cool. Good job. And you flew this thing in from, from Germany, you said? Uh, I had a truck from Germany to England and then put on a uh, Virgin Atlantic Air Freight flown into LA. It was about three months quicker than doing it by boat. Uh, thank you, Virgin. Awesome. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All those, uh, Holy cow. Cookies, you huh? can't you can't give him that way. <laughs> oh. What are you looking at, man? <laughs> I can't fit in this car. Here, here you go. There you go. Suck it in. Suck yeah. it in. Yeah, that jacket doesn't cover everything up. <laughs> Uh, you know, you really have to be. It's like it's like um, a seal in a sardine can. A little bit. A yeah. Little bit, yeah. It's, uh, like when they come up on shore. <laughs> it's really tiny. It's that moment. It's really tiny. Uh, but this is this is an extraordinary car. Very rare, and uh, Sandy's very lucky to have one. But uh, you know, that's what he does. He he collects really unusual cars. Good job, Sandy. There's a lot of cool cars today. Yeah. But you have a favorite, don't you? You know, I was just looking at this Cadillac right here. Yeah. And it's cool because if you take a look at the radio, they actually have this little thing where you can put the call letters on them. So you can actually look and tell that this fine gentleman is of skilled, absolute incredible brilliance because he has Can X right there in oh, letters done. on the radio. <laughs> that was easy. your new car, a new Ford yeah, GT? Yeah, GT, I just kind of... Hey, you're moving on up. I parked it here, you know, I'm just, you know, enjoy myself. It's a step up from the old Volkswagen, <laughs> huh? Uh, 
Uh, Kathy has been hoping for the rain, and uh, me too. It's, so I could stay home and read, uh, but now I'm not reading. We're not, not staying home. Yeah, no, we're actually leaving. Uh, we're heading up north. We're going up to the the Channel Islands Maritime Museum because, uh, as you guys, if you guys have been watching the show, uh, I got all the sketches done for their new book. We're going to be showing it to them as well as uh, a few other surprises. What surprises? Well, I can't say it, otherwise it wouldn't be a surprise. I don't want any surprises. <laughs> Mermaid sketches do you have so far? Um, About ten. Nine. Nine? Nine or ten. I don't remember. Yeah. But I have to throw one away. I don't like it. <laughs> okay, well this I is the standard. You know, if, if it doesn't gel with you, then you gotta toss it. You gotta start over. I'm not gonna toss it. Yeah. You're just gonna set it aside. Yeah. Okay. So you gotta set it aside and you gotta try something else. Kathy's not paying attention. She's looking at something as we're well, going I by. saw a surfboard in Bob's window. <laughs> meeting with the guys at the Channel Islands Maritime Museum and now we're just kind of walking around. If you have not been to this museum, uh, you know, got to check out the last vlog that we did, but this place is spectacular. It's raining now. We haven't had rain in Malibu in quite some time, and I, I, I'm excited about it. I'm excited because it's it's you know it's cold, it's wet, and you recognize that. That is a piece of coal off of the Back to the Future Three train. I stole it. It's mine now. I, I don't think anyone would be mad for me stealing a uh, piece of coal. You know, it's been sitting there since the movie came out, which is what 20 years. But no, it's mine. Let's talk about the Honda for a second. Uh, you know what? I've driven a lot of cars. You guys know I've driven a lot of cars, uh, and I, I'm excited each time a new car comes, and I'm grateful to the car companies for sending me these cars. Of course, Honda. Honda uh, rarely sends me cars, and when they do, I, I just I kind of get really excited about it because, uh, to me, Honda is like the apple of cars. Everything is kind of where it needs to be, and it's the best version of that. It's almost like they sat there and said, okay, today, Today, the whole day, all you guys, we're gonna work on cup holders. Today, we're gonna come up with the, the absolute best cup holder that a human being can actually envision. The most amazing thing about this car is the, is the, the right side turn camera. So when you flip the switch to, to, to make a right, there's a camera that's embedded into the, into the mirror that turns on the center console. So not only do you have a backup camera and a front camera, you have a, a side camera. Actually, I take that back. That's not my favorite part. My favorite part is the CarPlay, the Apple CarPlay. It eliminates you uh, having the need to text or wanting to text. You never have to anymore because it just pops up. You press a button and you just talk to Siri. She just asks you what you want to do. You tell her and that's, that, you know, Bob's your own. $24,000, 38 uh, miles per gallon, 205 horsepower. It doesn't feel like that. It feels a lot faster. Maybe it's the green color. Don't really care. Uh, I love the car. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm stoked to have this car, and I'm bummed uh, at the same time because it goes back, I think, 
tomorrow or the next day. And it's raining. It's, uh, it, I'm bummed that it's raining. But I'm also excited. It's a couple of thanks uh, have to go out. I didn't get a chance to express my thanks verbally to Andy and Jennifer for, for yesterday's vlog. That was that was just a blast to be able to go on those train cars and, and do all that fun stuff. I, you know, that's an experience that you just you don't get a chance to do. I'm also grateful to uh, Pat Hart and uh, all the people at the Channel Islands Maritime Museum. You guys got to check this place out. Really cool. I couldn't wait. I was so excited to get things going. I have about 20 sketches to do over the next month. I got the first one done. Check this out. There's the first one. Isn't she cute? Huh? 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 That's the front end of the ship. Wouldn't you like to color that in? I know I would. Got 20 sketches to do. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, periodically as I do them. We're also going to be showing you uh, mermaid stuff. Here's Kathy's mermaid. Look at that. See? There's your mermaid. You got four books coming out. Four books coming out in the next two months. Maybe faster. We'll see. I've said it many times and I'm going to say it again. Our job here on this vlog is to show you guys how to do what you love and love what you do. Basically improve your life through what you love. Making your life better uh, each, each step of the way. You got to do what you love. You can't just, you know, spend your entire time doing the stuff that does not incorporate things that you love into your life and and put a smile on your face. I try it. I'll, I'll start. Go ahead. Come on. Turn that frown upside down. There you go. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow.